Hello, welcome to Raising the Bar with me, Mr. Bar. Today we're going to be looking at this terrifyingly scary fraction, and we're going to simplify it, we're going to tame it, we're going to put it under our control. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to divide both by 10, because as long as I'm doing the same thing to the numerator and to the denominator, the fraction will be the same. I'm going to divide by 10 both of these, and that will give me 24 over 36. 24 over 36, still don't like it, but I can see that both of them are even, so I'm going to divide by 2. Top and bottom, numerator and denominator, and that's going to give me 18 over 12, silly me, over 18. Now both of those are even, so I can divide by 2 again. Divide by 2, divide by 2, and I get 6 over 9. Can't divide those by 2, so I'm going to stop here. Oh wait, the 3 times table, that's what both of them are in. I'm going to divide by 3. Divide by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. I can't divide 2 and 3 by anything else. Good clue is that one or both of them are prime, both simplified as much as it can be. One of them, probably close. So that is it, simplified. Probably could have, those smart among you, divided it by a bigger number. But this way's foolproof. Take it easy. Little chunks at a time. Simply simplify. Bye-bye. Peace out.